In my mind, I've always had it been said that leaving, well, leaving is just like going home. Perhaps it's a selfish thing to see clarity from a distance as I do, but it's the only definition that I'm comfortable with. I'm too farsighted, maybe. Too hyperopic, always focusing on the horizon when my feet are in a knot beneath me. Maybe that's why I always trip up, find myself here time and time again. There's something to be said for it, though. Leaving. When these permanent fixtures begin to move, and we're momentarily without an anchor in the liminal spaces that we used to call our home. You can see the potential of something shine through from wherever it's been confined, and it's both sad and beautiful all at the same time. Even this space, empty as it is, could go on to house a number of different things, so much more than I was able to give it alone. And that, to me, is beautiful. And it's funny, the things that we choose to hold on to. Memories and mementos, whole personalities stored inside of plastic shells, treasured more at an arm's length than ever they were when held close to the heart. Leaving is just like going home. I can count on myself to walk this line with grace and inexactitude, returning to myself with experience to match the sorry state of my mind. It's the only thing that I've ever really known. Hey, how's it going? So, you ready to go? Yeah, for sure. Come on in. Right. Now there's a girl in New York City. She calls herself the human trampoline. Whenever I'm falling, flying, tumbling, in turmoil, I say, oh, so this is what she means. Leaving is just like going home. We're never really the same as we once were, but rather strangers to ourselves in familiar holding patterns, treading the same ground, but in a wholly different way. And I don't think that's anything to be ashamed of. I think that it's just part of being human and growing older. Insight accompanies introspection, and it's nothing you can appreciate until you're no longer under the microscope yourself. The glass is always clearer on the other side, and you need to be removed from it to understand and see it clearly. You need to move on to appreciate what it really means. And each time that you do, you're defined by what you choose to hold on to and bring with you. Perhaps more so than whatever it is you choose to leave behind. <laughs>